I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. I like to call it that because every time you get a pass in the Charleston and you make a decision on those tiles, that impacts the next. It's like a chain reaction. You never know what you're going to end up with. Well, you might have a vision for what you might end up with, but sometimes it's a surprise. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise, so I'll get 14 tiles, and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Flower, white dragon, east and west. Three, six, eight in cracks, pair eight. One, five, eight in bams, seven, eight, nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on the eights for plan A, like numbers with eights. Eight crack, eight bam, eight dot, and then white dragon. There's also a potential for consecutive runs, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six tiles towards like numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for consecutive run. So since we have more tiles for a consecutive run, let's use that for plan A and like numbers for plan B. I'm going to take a photo of the dealt hand so we can recreate it. We're going to start with consecutive run. So let's break up the west and then pass, let's say one and three, mix suits. Let's take a photo. We got a nine dot, eight, nine multiples. Oh, here's east, west, three, four. We have eight, nine, eight, six. I think I would let the six go maybe pass these three. We'll take a photo. Keep the nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. We could maybe do eight, nine. Okay, now we have like numbers. We could do this east. Here we go. We'll take a photo. So we have a six, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, one, three, four. We can pass these. Photo. We have two clear discards. Six, seven, eight, nine, two multiples. You know what? We could play maybe the concealed hand here. Six, seven, eight, nine, dragon. Let's see. Six, seven, six, seven, nine. We have a four as a clear discard. Six dot. I think I would let these tiles go right there. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. We'll photo that. Okay, now I would let the eight go with a one prop. Ooh, I don't want to be left with this. So maybe we'll do one for the eight and take these for this pass. Okay, we'll take a photo. We have a flower. Let's see, four, four, three. Okay, seemed like we had too many tiles. Oh my gosh, look, we have a pung. But we have a hand here with no gaps. I would break that up. Sometimes the multiples just don't go together, but we have a three multiples right there. Okay. I think that was a pretty good result. We have three discards, joker bait, and a hand with no gaps. That was the six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run plan A. So five discards, including joker bait. So we're gonna reset and see if like numbers would have been a better result. That's what we started with, and there's our Charleston. So we are gonna do like numbers with eights. Look at all those discards. Okay, so let's break up the wins, and then let's see like numbers. I don't see any there. How about, how about a little number with a big number? We should probably break up these cracks. Let's pass the six and keep that. Actually, we have seven, nine. West, okay, let's just start here. Okay, we're looking for eights. Here's a nine, seven, eight, nine. I would still maybe keep those. Okay, so let's pass one, three, west. Here's a nine. 8989 nine, gathering. I always keep my options open. Let's pass these three. No keepers. We're looking for eights primarily, except here's a six. I don't think I would pass three, four. That's a bit risky. Let's pass these three. Okay, seven. No, six, six. Seven, eight, nine. Here's like numbers with fours. All right, let's pass one of each suit. Dragon. One, two, four. That's a little bit risky. Like numbers with eights. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Let's let the seven go. Pass those three. Eight. Drag, uh, flower. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, we could do the optional. Okay, so let's say we focus on like numbers right here. There's our matching dragons, pair of flowers. So let's pass these in the optional. No keepers. So we have same results. Five discards with joker bait. Isn't that interesting? We could play like numbers. We have the singles. We have the pair. We just need to build the eights. So the results were equal. And this is a concealed hand, which is more value. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below the video. 
Sometimes when you get your dealt hand, you might see a couple of options. Pick a plan A and a plan B and then get your camera out and take photos along the way while you focus on plan A. Note the results and then do the same Charleston based on the photos that you've taken and then do the Charleston with plan B and then you compare results. If you have more than four tiles, I'd say you are likely an underdog for that particular set of tiles and that hand. If you have four tiles for discards, I'd say you are likely a contender. And if you have less than four, I would say that you're likely a front runner for that game. And what that means is that as an underdog, you would take less risks as the game progresses and as you develop your hand, then you can have increasing levels of risk the closer you get to that front runner position. So try this exercise and always track how many tiles you have left over after the Charleston so you can figure out what position you're in and how risky your approach will be for the rest of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.